Yo, what is going on guys? We are back for What's New TCG for August 2024. And yes, you're hearing right, we've got a little bit better audio finally. But bought a microphone <laughs> after a year and some change on videos. <laughs> Um, so uh, we plan on having a new microphone too on our uh, our, our box openings as well. So yeah. a little more tricky to to finagle that one, but we're working on it. But as you can see, this month it looks like a lot, and there kind of is, but it's mainly because there is so much buy shorts, like a kind of insane amount, I would say. Yeah, it looks like we got a little bit of everything. Not anything great too much uh, i don't know if you well we'll get to it but nothing great i'm looking at but it's still a fun month and probably some things here that will be opened yeah. so if you just want to go ahead and get us started ethan yeah so on august 2nd we've got a new pokemon english set shrouded fable um i'm just going to shoot it to you straight i don't have any hope for this set whatsoever we opened the japanese or part of the japanese in Whatever that set was called. I don't know. It's got, it, it features Petrarind and um, whatever this trio is called. Of like Poison. It's got Pheasantipity, Okidori, Okidogi, and Monkey Dory. My goodness. Um, not too much hop for this set. Um, I like Stellar Miracle, the one that's coming later, better. So, I mean, we, we might open it on the channel. But personally... I'm not too interested, but you know, usual the usual things. It's a usual Pokemon set. It'd be like nine packs and ETB, and this and that. So, yeah. The same day, we have something almost as less exciting. We have two Hollow Live sets, I think. No, one Hollow Live, one Love Live. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, <laughs> so we have a premium Hollow Live set and a Love Live set. Uh, we don't watch shows. We go through this, it seems like, every month. Um, it's not much for us to say here. If you like it, you know, you, you're eating well. That's all I'm going to say, because you get a set every month. Literally. I don't know why they don't just come out with their own TCG, and I want to say one of those are. That'd be Hollow Live, but yeah. So if you're a big fan of the series, uh, look out for the second. Just don't look out on this channel for it. Having both of those come out on the same day is diabolical. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> they're just they're, they're do you shameless. Think they have, do you think they have like the same fans? Like, do you, or do you oh, think yeah. people are like really aggressive towards each other? It's like blood, like and Naruto crips. and One Piece. <laughs> it's like blood and crips. Hollow love and love. yeah. All right, let's just move off of that and go to something at least interesting. We've got on the same day. From the Final Fantasy TCG, a rare one on the What's New TCG. They don't put out a ton of sets, you know, here and there. But we got Hidden Trials. Um, I didn't know about the set until like two hours ago. But it does look pretty cool. It's got lightning from, I believe, Final Fantasy 13, if I'm not getting that wrong. Which is actually yes. a reasonably popular game and a pretty popular character, I would say. So... That card will probably very be decisive Final Fantasy game. You know, people are people either love it or hate it. Yeah. So I played a little bit of it. Yeah. So um, you know, as the Final Fantasy booster boxes, it'll run you like 143 bucks retail to get one of these, which kind of deters us from opening on the channel. But you know, it, if you like Final Fantasy TCG, it'll probably be a good set. And then on the next day in Japan, we've got a new Build Divide set. We've got Fate Grand Order. Now, I do like Fate, but I am a Fate casual enthusiast, you might would say. I, I've not seen Grand Order. I've only seen Stay Night and Zero. So, uh, it'll be on a whim if we pick this up and open on the channel. But um, if you like Build Divide and you like Fate, this will be a good series to pick up. We, you guys know how we feel about Build a Vile on the channel. Yeah, we're uh, we're pretty big fans, and you're going to get a hit, most likely. This is not Build a Vile Brat. Is that right, Nathan? No, it's, uh, well, I don't think it is. <laughs> I can't remember. Honestly. If it's not Build a Vile Brat, it seems like those have a little harder pull rates. I could be completely BSing right there, but the ones we've opened that haven't been brought uh, had a little harder to pull. Yeah. 
the same day God save us all we have <laughs> rebirth for you love live i'm gonna i'm gonna work my way through this word uh hasano zora yeah, girls no, yeah pretty good yeah uh we're not gonna harp on this any more than we have to uh rebirth for you i'm assuming it's some kind of love live franchise might be pretty good looks like there's a lot of uh a lot of women in this show or girls i don't know how old they are don't but know don't care the, yeah if you're into that i'm sure there's a thousand sps in the set and they're probably expensive and on the knot we have by schwartz heaven burns red in japan now i have seen this set been announced it feels like forever we're not gonna have any knowledge on this uh i'm assuming it's gonna be pretty expensive because most of the mobile game sps and stuff like that like nikki was really expensive uh, i think rebirth for you has some games that are really expensive but yeah we don't know anything about this i don't even know what the game's about i'm sure it's just one of those uh it might be a Korean mobile game. I'm not sure. But the next day, we have a new Rush Deal set. We have Dark Matter of Phantoms. Now, I've seen some of the artwork on this set, but I haven't seen the Overrush Rare, like the big one. So I can't really tell you guys if it's a banger set or not. Um, I doubt we're going to pick this one up unless it's got a really expensive card like the last one we opened. But if you're a Rush Deal fan... People are clamoring for Rush Deal to come to English TCG. So, if you're a big fan of the set, go support it. They're pretty fun cards. They look really cool. But uh, we haven't had any luck in it yet. But yeah, Ethan, you want to tell us about the next week? Alright, so the next week in America, we have got Von Schwartz Ayakashi Triangle. Now, I don't know what this is. Other than the fact that it's like a rom-com anime. Um, look, you can roast us for not knowing what this is. I don't know. It said it was like a 6 stars out of 10 on on Google. So it can't be... We can't be missing out too much. But, you know... I've definitely heard of this anime, but I have no idea I've what heard it of is. It, but yeah. I feel like I've seen it a lot. But... I don't know. So, it's going to be your typical English Von Schwartz booster box. It'll probably run you about 60 bucks give or take i'm sure it'll have i don't know if there's any wild foods it'll probably have some expensive sps so uh, don't be expecting that one on the channel and then i feel like we keep harping not to expect on the channel but this this whole month's kind of like that there's a lot of stuff coming out but not a lot of stuff we're just super interested in yeah there it, it's it's more quantity than quality for sure and then on the same day in Japan, we've got a double Union Arena release here. Sound the alarm, double release. We've got Undead Unluck and 100 Girlfriends. Um, I'll talk about 100 Girlfriends briefly. I'll let Brady talk about the other one. 100 Girlfriends is like a popular romance anim or manga anime right now. I've thought about watching it, but I don't know. Probably not. Um, you want to tell them about Undead L Unluck? Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this show. I know it did decently well as far as on my anime list. It looks like a fun premise, and I watched the trailer for it. So it's actually a show I might watch just for the channel, so we can open this and have a little brief knowledge on it. So I thought about doing that more for the channel. If we see a set that's got a you know an anime that is somewhat popular, maybe check it out. But yeah, I, I can't tell you much about the story because I don't know about it. But I'm assuming 100 Girlfriends is going to be crazy expensive. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, we, we, yeah, so if you're looking for just price on that, 100 Girlfriends seems like it's going to be the one to go for. also don't love the double releases because it, it kind of got to pick and choose. But I guess if you want both, that's fine if you're a fan of both series. But yeah, uh, New Union Arena, we love the cards. Uh, most likely we'll get to one of these sets. Then the next week, we have something that has driven the Yu-Gi-Oh! fan base apart. We have Retro Pack 2024. Now, if you're into the Yu-Gi-Oh! knowledge, uh, like the drops and stuff, everything they're doing, you would see that people are really mad because collection prices are getting murdered because they are re-releasing almost every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! 
So this is a re-release of a 2008 retro pack that Europe got, I believe, and it's going to have like all the big cards. And these cards are really expensive, actually, if you go and buy like the originals. So people are thinking their cards are going to get smoked. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I, I, I don't really have an opinion on it. I think it's fun to get cards that haven't been released in a while, even though all these cards you've seen a hundred times. But yeah, there'll be Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Gate Guardian, all the all the staples, and it could be expensive. It might not be. I, I don't know. English is weird sometimes. Would you agree, Ethan? It's like some cards come out and they're really expensive and, and you don't really understand why, but then sometimes it's the other way around. Yeah, it can be a bit unpredictable. And then the is it same day, yeah, same day in Japan, we have Vosh Schwartz Premium Set Star Wars. Volume 2. Okay. Volume 2. I don't like these that much. <laughs> I've seen them. I, I would rather, like, open the top sets because they have autographs of the actors and stuff. I don't really know what I'm getting in these. I'm just getting usually a stamp. I, I, I think they look cheap to me. That, that's my only problem with them. I, I just feel like they, they feel and look cheap. I can tell you my problem with them, and I've mentioned it to Brody before, is that it's really not even the set's fault in general, but these, the Disney sets, and the Marvel sets, oh my gosh, the, they are flooded on eBay auctions. Like, if you try to just search for Vi Schwartz cards, I don't know why people sell the commons from these so much. Yeah. If you want Star Wars cards, just go buy the new TCG that came out. Those cards are banging on, on eBay and TCG Player. Like, just go buy those. They're really cool artwork, too. They, they don't look lazy. To me, these, these look lazy. I, I don't love them. So, enough trashing on Star Wars. We are Star Wars fans. But yeah. uh, Speaking of Disney, though, we do have a cool set. We have Morkana. Now, it feels like we just opened Lorcana. Uh, but yeah, we got a new set called Shimmering Skies. Uh, TCG players probably announced most of this set online. I haven't really looked at it too much because it is something that's going to be open, so I, I, I don't worry too much about it. Um, but I have looked at the legendaries that you can pre-order, and they're about, you're going to have like a $50 legendary most likely, which is, which is always pretty fun for Orkana. So yeah, it's Orkana. It's fun to open. A lot of packs pretty good hits to be honest maybe we will get a enchanted card this time around because i think they're one in four boxes and this will be the fourth box so if if their statistics are right we should be getting sent one soon oh god you want to tell them about the next one ethan i've already had to talk about three of them i don't know how i don't really believe it <laughs> but guys <laughs> A fourth Hollow Love set had just hit the tower. <laughs> We've got White Vashworth's premium set, Hollow Love Summer. And uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. We've got. If you like your Hollow Love characters, they're and wearing you like bikinis. Them in bikinis now. This is a set. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a premium set, so they'll have, like, special foiling on the cards and this and that. Look, we know you're all going to buy this set, so don't beat around the bush and pretend that you're not. So that's all I'm going to say about Hollow Live. We're going to go on to the same day in Japan. Buy Schwartz Marvel Volume 2. Um, now, we kind of just complained about Star Wars, and, you know, I'm not going to do that about these Marvel cards. Um, I mean, they're fine. I don't know how crazy people go for these, and I don't even know if they have English releases of these, actually. Like the Marvels, the Star Wars, stuff like that, but... I don't, I've never seen the English of Star Wars. I haven't looked for Marvel. This must be like a, a Japanese thing. Maybe the Japanese go crazy over these sets. I don't know, but... Um, if you, I mean, if you like superhero cards, it's good. I mean, we got stuff like Upper Deck in the States, so I just don't think it's as significant to open these but if you like them open them if not you know whatever but. the last day man this has been a long one um we have a new rebirth for you set and i think we talked last month about rebirth for you always getting like the sets that i've never heard of and you know if you guys like this anime that's fine i'm reading about it right now 
I don't know what this is. I've never even heard of this. Courage Explosion Burn Brave Burn, or the Japanese name of Yuki Bakahatsu Bang Bravern, or Bravern. I don't mm-hmm. know. Uh, 7.59 on my anime list. It looks like a mech anime, which I do like, but I just don't know what this is. I- I've never even seen like the the picture here, so maybe it's good. I've just never heard of it. So yeah, a lot of stuff this month. I wouldn't say it's packed with quality, uh, kind of what we spoke on earlier, but there's something for everybody here, and that is for sure. <laughs> do you want to tell us? <laughs> well, you know, you got all fans here. Ethan, do you want to tell us what you're most excited about this month? Dude, I don't even know. Um, crap, I guess I'll go with... I'm just like I'm just like gonna pick one basically. I'll go with Shrouded Fable from Pokemon. We'll probably open it. It'll be a fun little one-off opening. And yeah, uh, mm, mm, yeah, I love those Pokemon. All right, Brady, tell us your favorite. I have two this month, so it's not terrible. Um, obviously, Lorcana Shimmering Skies. I'm kind of excited for the chase for the Enchanted Guard. Uh, that's been pretty fun lately. I don't know what we're going to do when we finally pull it. Do we do we give up on Lorcana when we finally pull it, or do we keep going? But for now, we're still going to be open it. And Retropack 2024, I'm, I'm not as excited about the opening it, I guess. I just want to see what the prices are sitting at. I just want to see if people are right to panic and their cards just plummet. So maybe if the card prices are good, I'll, I'll reopen it. Or not reopen. I've never opened it, but I'll open it, and um, it, it might be fun. I said it's gonna have to be good card prices because we've been getting slammed on English Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna be opening some more Japanese for the next couple months. So yeah, a pretty pretty big month. Um, let us know in the comments kind of what you're excited about and if you like the new mic quality i said we're gonna have we're gonna be working on it the rest of the year trying to get a lot better quality on our videos uh you guys really killed it in the last really the last month uh we've hit a thousand subs we've we've spoken about it and i don't know we just appreciate it yep so thank you guys for watching and we will see y'all next month in what's new tcg see you guys